Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to build an anime recommender system with this data set from Kaggle. Okay, so DF1 equals PDF, read ZSB, this. There's only one data frame. Okay, DF1 equals drop NA. We're going to drop all NAs. Let's explore the data set. Now, uh, we're going to use title. The synopsis. We're going to return the title from the synopsis being the content, the description, the synopsis. Okay. Now let's take a look at it for a second. There's the synopsis head. Okay. TDF vectorizer. That's what we're going to use. Stop words English. DF1 equals DF1 synopsis. Fail an A. Get rid of all that. Okay, we're going to transform synopsis. We're going to import the linear kernel. This is where machine learning comes into play. And then drop duplicates. Now, this is where we use a little Python. Okay. Get recommendations. The title, cosine similarity equals cosine. Index equals and dices title. Sim scores. And list enumerate cosine similarity of the index sorted, and then always put reverse equals true. If you if you put false, trust me, you don't want to. Okay, now as for the sim scores, we're gonna return 20, right? So we're splicing. If you want to return 10, put one colon 11. Okay, anime and dices. And always put L-O-C, I-L-O-C. If you put L-O-C, it won't return. It'll just return the whole thing. So, anime and dices, DF1 title. Now, let's look at the product. The reason I chose this is because my oldest daughter likes anime. Of course, she's only nine, so she likes more appropriate anime. Um, other ones are too young for anime. Okay, Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I wouldn't be too good of a judge with this stuff. Okay. Akira. But I'm assuming a lot of my audience likes this stuff, so you'd probably be a better judge. Just a guess. Okay. Although I did watch Cowboy Bebop when I was a kid for a little while. Okay, guys. But most importantly, you can use this formula for any content-based recommender system. You just have to adjust the what you want it to return, which would most likely be the title in whatever data frame, to... The um, the content, whatever the description is called. Whether it's synopsis, description, whatever it is in the data frame, you can use the same exact formula. Always remember, drop an A and put I-L-O-C. And then remember, you have to do this right here. So you can always change this and this to fill in whatever. But it has to return this right here, right here. So go ahead and feel free to go off on your own, find your own data sets, and have fun. And remember, get def from the def function. Put in the title, type it in, and it'll return. Okay, guys. Next time we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna build a convolutional neural network. Then we're going to deploy on Render Cloud. But I haven't decided. We're going to use Streamlit, of course. But I haven't decided what kind of app we're going to deploy next. Then uh, I'm going to take a break for a while. And then we're going to do SageMaker, something creative. Okay, thanks, guys.